Hello YouTube. Today we're gonna play doctor. And as funny as that sounds, I think I've watched enough videos now. We're gonna shoot some plants up, maybe cut some open. I think we got some squash vine borers and a couple of these. I know we got squash bugs, that's for another video. I'll try to get that one done tonight or tomorrow. But for now, we're going to try to see what's going on with the actual stems of the plants. This first zucchini here doesn't wilt during the day. I mean, its heat index right now is like 102 or 3, something like that. I have yet to see it, it wither during the day. It looks pretty much like it does right now, all day long. Morning, noon, and night. And we've got everything set to water uh, twice a day. 5.30 to 7 in the morning and 5.30 to 7 in the evening. But I think this one's okay. Besides the squash bugs starting to come around it. I don't see any holes in the vine, most definitely. I can see where we picked fruit off, here and here. Now I did clean this plant up a little bit. Pulled some of the dead leaves off, like this here. See this comes out into a, turns yellow and there's no leaf at all on it. Been breaking those off. Just break it off and throw it away. Put it in the burn pile. Here's another one here I missed. But for the most part, and see we've got new growth. Um, I've tried to come out here and keep a close eye on these for once this year. And uh, we had any fruit that didn't make, didn't get pollinated. If it didn't get pollinated, I've, I've been breaking it off trying to get rid of it so I'm, I'm trying to keep these things as clean as I can this year just to see here's another one follow it out goes into a yellow leaf break it off I'm guessing that it's a healthy vine it did not look like it to me but I don't see any holes in it anywhere what I might do is kind of inoculate it I'll watch it for the next couple of days after I do these others if I do start to see anything We'll come out here and we'll, we'll inject it with some BT. Now this plant, it does not look healthy to me, but there's no holes in it. This is all the way through. Not sure about that. Got another spot up here. And it's kind of wet and gooey. And then we have the end of it, which has lots of new growth. Got some new growth here and here. So I think what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to inject it this way and this way and then down here this way and this way just to make sure a little preventive maintenance if you will so most of all the leaves coming off of it i mean they're huge big huge leaves but they're not yellow they're still healthy looking nothing's chomping on them so i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this and hold the camera but here we go so we have a three cc or three milliliter needle got this at the feed store you can see there's a half of a cc drawn up in it. There's the first, that's the first mark on the needle. There's one, one mark here. I mixed this thing. The BT I got was in liquid form. It said one and a half fluid ounces to three gallons. Then I did some super high powered math and broke it down to where you get basically a half a cc or a half a cup of water. Mix those together. Everything I've read said put one cc a BT into your plant so that's what we're going to do it's right up in here well I hadn't hit the middle of it yet apparently well that idea is not going to work because it's plugging my needle up too much Uh, went into that one so anyways we'll keep a close eye i'm not sure i may have to just slice it open and um take the needle off and put the 1cc in it like that but anyway we'll keep a close eye on this and a close eye on this for the next couple of days make sure there's nothing going on with it i may even come out here and put some dirt around this part and this part maybe we'll get some more roots growing down this next one does have wilting leaves take a closer look at it so first thing we're going to do 
Because I observed a ladybug. Hopefully the ladybug's having a feast on this sucker. Got lots of things to eat. Let's break off the leaves. This one is half eat. So it's coming off. And you'll notice most of these are the oldest leaves. So, so if you leave this on there, number one, you're just asking for some kind of something to climb up in here or start eating or bad juju for your plant. And since I know I got squash bugs already, not bad yet, not on wood, I'm fixing to have to fight that battle. See, and on this one, I don't see any holes. I don't feel any holes. I don't see what looks like wet sawdust anywhere, which is basically the squash vine borers, the worm poop. I guess as long as you're not seeing worm poop, you're okay. I don't see any holes anywhere. Well, that may be one there, but see, I see broke through right there. I tell you what, let's come right here. There you go. Once you get into the middle of the plant, which is hollow, you just squirt the BT down into it. And if there is a worm up in there, I hope he eats the mess out of that because he's going to get a stomach ache and die. So following the stem up, Got some blooms here. Got some bloom flowers fixing to open up. Got a fruit on the very end of it. I don't know if you can see that. And we've got new growth right here. That's a smaller leaf. There. So we'll keep an eye on this one next two or three days and see what it's going to do. Maybe it is just the heat. Alright, here's a... This is going to be a fruit neck squash. See, that looks like a vine borer hole. This plant's not suffering yet. It doesn't appear to be. Be safe. Let's shoot it up. Okay. I'm going to go above it just a hair. Because if he's eating, he's probably eating up into the good stuff. And there it goes. See, it's starting to come out down at the bottom hole. If there's one in there, hopefully he's going to eat on that for a little bit. See how he likes it. Looking at the dark vine down there. This part here. Lots of new growth. Got some blooms down in there. Next fruit neck squash. This is what I was telling you about. Let me break that off. It broke anyway. Here's a squash that did not get pollinated. Now it's just sitting there rotten. So we'll take care of that. That's just asking for disease or bugs, and I've got enough problems. Got good growth. Got some blooms. They're down in there, but this is a pretty good sized squash plant. Follow the main vine back. And I feel I see nothing that looks bad to give me any indication that there's a vine borer in here. But as you can see, the squash bugs are here. Because for every squash bug you see, there's probably about 50 you don't see. The last one. Take a look down here. Look at this here. And see, once they wilt down like this, or something's eating on them, or they're turning brown like this one here, it's time to go. I see no indication of a squash vine borer. I'm not even going to mess with this one. Cleaned all the yellowing leaves and dying leaves off left us with some nice foliage down underneath looks like we've got a pretty healthy vine go give them a little a little bit of the hydroponic juice keep an eye on for the next two or three four days if you got any comments questions put them in the box below thank y'all for watching and until next time